Hello, and welcome to Dale Laboratories. We're a professional photo lab in Florida, and I'm here to show you how to get a really great comp card. Your comp card is important to your success. The better your card, the more callbacks you'll receive from photographers and art directors. I'll show you how to create a knockout card in just a few minutes. This card will be on real photographic paper. It won't be a photocopy like other models' cards. So, when your card is in a stack with other cards, it will visually pop and give you the edge you need. Let's go over how you can create a beautiful card in no time flat. You'll be starting on our webpage at iprintspro.com forward slash compcard.php. Scroll down to the How to Get Started section. Then, pause this video while you spend a minute to read the simple instructions. When you're finished reading, please restart the video. Now, click on the rose icon to download our free design program. Click OK to launch the program. Our program will ask you for access to your computer. Please click Allow. Turn off any extraneous windows that might be open. You can move any windows around on your screen or change dimensions or proportions of our rose windows. One window you'll want to use now is the My Information window. If it is not already open, please click the My Information button at the bottom of our window, like this. You'll need to fill in your name and email address and other information. For the account number, replace New User with the number 123. Then, click the OK button at the bottom. Please pause this video while you fill in your information. By keying in the numbers 123, we've brought you right into the section of the program you'll be working with. For future orders, our company will assign you your own personal ID number. Take a quick look at the layout of the screen. On the left is an instruction block. If the Welcome to iPrints Pro slash Rows window is open, please click OK to close it. You'll see starting instructions for models and actors' headshots. On the right side of the window is an area where you'll be bringing in digital pictures that you will be including on your card. Also, somewhere on your screen, you'll see a separate window that contains a group of templates for 8x10 headshots. We're going to change from that group of templates to the comp cards. Click on the Comp Cards tab. We offer three different styles, plus a special open template your photographer can use for a custom design. Let's use our most popular style, number one, which has a very simple yet elegant design. Click on the style number one template. The template design will open on the left. Do you see where we have space for a front photo, four pictures on the back, and type? You'll be dragging your pictures into this template. Then you'll type in your personal information. Don't worry about this instructional type. It won't show on your finished card. The first step is to bring in your photographs. You should have the JPEG pictures supplied by your photographer in a folder on your computer. If you don't, please pause this video and create a folder with your photos on the computer's desktop. On the lower right, you'll see the Folder button. Click the button and you'll see a list of your computer files open up. On our desktop, we have a folder for our model, Nikki. When I click on the folder, the JPEG images inside open on the right side of the design window. By clicking and dragging, I can sort the pictures to make my choice of images easier. You'll just click and drag the same way I am. I'm going to move my images so that the five pictures I want on my card will be in order from left to right. Now, let's drag these images into the design template on the left. Just click on an image and drag it over to the picture box you want. How's that for quick and easy? Suppose you want to change a picture. Just drag another image into the box. In this case, I'd rather go with my first choice, so let's bring it back. Now, we want to individually crop and place each of our pictures. Just double-click on the image and it will blow up on your screen. Change the image by using the zoom control. Then, click inside the photo to move it around. When you're happy, double-click again to return to the smaller size. 
Let's do this with each of our pictures. If you'd like, you can pause this video now and do the cropping on your photos. With your photos in place, it's time to add type. This will usually be your personal stats and contact information. Start by typing in your name on the front of the card, as I'm doing here with Nikki's name. Now, you can switch to your personal information on the back of the card. You'll usually want to include contact information, such as your email address, plus your eye color, measurements, weight, and clothing sizes. Here are some tips on type. First, leave a couple of spaces between each of your stats. Second, try to keep your type at a minimum. The type will become smaller if you add too many letters. Should you have a lot of type on the back of the card, you may want to consider using card styles 2 or 3, which have one less picture. These styles give you an extra panel for type. In our illustration, we'll be sticking with style number 1. Let's double-click on the type block on the front of the card to enlarge it. This makes it easier for you to see if there are typos in your name. Double-click the type box to get back to the normal size. Please pause the video at this point and set your own type. If you're a photographer or a model who wants to show photo credits, you should key information into the type field in the upper right picture. Double-click on the picture, then click on the type box. Now, key in your studio or photographer's name and website. Double-click to return the card to normal size. Now comes the creative part. We're going to change the look of our type to give the card even more pizzazz. This is really easy. Click on the Options button. At the bottom of the window, you'll see Show Options Palette. By clicking on these options, you'll be able to change the look of the card. Options affecting the front side of the card are in red. The ones to change the back of the card are in black. Let's go through them one at a time. Image Tone lets you change any picture to shades of black and white. All you do to make the change is click the radio button. To get back to color, just unclick your selection. Font type changes the look of the type with different font styles. We suggest using either the default Palantino, which you'll get by making no changes, or Verdana, or Arial. Please note that if your computer doesn't have these fonts in your library, they won't show on your screen, but they will print with the style you select. Font style lets you choose between regular and bold styles. Let's go with bold italic. Font color gives you the choice of several different colors, with the default being black. Can you see how the color of the type changes as I click each one? So, for now, I'll choose burgundy. Font justification lets you move the type around. Let's just center this type. The text background color adjusts the color of the stripe behind the type. Most of the time you'll want to leave this as the default, none, white. But you might want to change it if you use a different type color. Here's an example of how this would work if we choose white type. The white type with the burgundy background looks sharp, but I think we'll go with the burgundy type and a white background. The last thing you can do on the front of the card is to decide if you want an agency logo. If you have an agency logo you want to include, just drag a JPEG image of it into this block. Don't worry about the type if you leave the agency logo blank. That type won't show. The same rules apply to options on the back of the card. I'll show you how easy it is to change the look of your card with just a click of your mouse. Let's play a bit with options to show you how they work. You can open or close any option by clicking on the little arrow next to its name. Image Tone controls whether you have color or black and white in any of your pictures. It works the same as on the front of the card. Let's turn the picture on the lower left into pure black and white. So, I'll open the option and click the black and white radio button. It's that easy. To go back to color, just click again. Font type works the same on the back as on the front. You can choose different fonts to suit your taste. On the back of the card, in particular, I suggest you proceed very cautiously. That's because the type gets smaller as you increase the number of letters. You'll get the best results on type with the most readable copy if you leave the default setting with black type on a white background. The Palantino default is what I'd recommend. Try to avoid the fancier typefaces.
Font color is a matter of taste. You can go with colored type as I'm doing here. But once again, I suggest you stick to black. Font justification allows you to center or move your type left or right. Leave this on the default setting of center. Text background color can add a nice touch. Just use color carefully so you don't make your small type less readable. One thing I suggest you not do is to put white type against a black background. This will look nice on your screen, but it will print badly. So let's go back to our default setting with black type on a white background. Studio Text Font Color controls your photographer's credit in the upper right hand corner. I'd suggest you choose either black or white to contrast with the image you have chosen. Use Studio Text Font Justification to aesthetically place your text over the image. Here, we'll use Write Justification. Our optional promotional text is strictly that, optional. By using our name, it adds a bit of credibility to your card. One more item to catch an art director's eye when he or she is looking at your knockout card. Click either yes or no. Optional text font color should be either black or white. Since this picture has a white background, we'll leave the default black type. OK, we're almost done. Now, you can decide the number of cards you want by changing the quantity at the bottom of the page. You can also do this in the next step. 25 cards is the minimum. Let's do just a quick double check of what you have on your card. Are you satisfied with all the images? If not, just click on one and make an adjustment or drag and drop a different picture. Check the spelling on your name. Now double click on the type on the back of the card to enlarge it. Is everything right? How about spacing between sections of type? Now's the time to make any changes you need. Double click when you're happy with the copy to return to the correct size. If everything checks out, click the Add to Order button. Don't worry about the warning that this product can hold more images. Just click Add As Is. Clicking Add to Order is very important. Unless you make that last click, your order will not take. Click the Review Order button. The first thing to do on the Review Order page is to check that you have ordered the right number of cards. So, move the slider over and fill in the number of cards you need. The total price will be automatically computed for you. For most beginning card orders, we suggest ordering 50 cards. Order 25 if you think you'll be changing your pictures in the next few months. Veteran models will probably want over 100 cards for convenience and a lower per card cost. For customer information, key in your name or studio name if you're a photographer. Your order reference should contain the model's name. For shipping, I'd recommend the UPS ground or priority mail, unless you're picking up your order at our laboratory. I would also suggest that you get a proof. Once you have your cards printed, typos and other mistakes can be very upsetting, and you will be responsible for paying for reprints. A proof can show you any mistakes you might have made in the layout and prevent problems before they happen. Now, make yourself a paper copy of the transaction. Click Show Order. You'll get a form that you can print at your computer. Close out this window so we can complete your order. It is very important that you complete the order. Click the Complete Order button on the lower right. Click Send Now via the Internet, followed by Next. If you're having your card mailed to you, click Credit Card. Then, you'll fill in your credit card and shipping information. In this example, we're going to be picking up the card order at our Hollywood, Florida lab. So I'm going to click Pick Up and Pay. Click Next. Your order will immediately start to upload over the Internet. You'll be able to see the progress bar as it progresses. You'll see a sent, thank you, message when the upload is complete. Here's an illustration of the card we've just made. This card will be printed on real photographic paper for color unmatched by any card you'll get from run-of-the-mill comp card printers. Our cards are honestly the best in America. They help you stand out and give you a real edge on the competition. Please call us at 800-327-1776 if you need any help. Our company is Dale Laboratories. We've been in business for 40 years and we're here to help you succeed. Thank you for viewing this video. We look forward to working with you.